Welcome everybody to my channel. This is MGTV, Miguel Global Travel Vlogging. Uh, I'll talk a lot about the travels that I have. I'll show you some of those destinations, but most importantly, I'll talk about a hobby of mine and a passion, which is cooking. Now, I cook a lot. When I say a lot, I, I probably cook about five days a week. Having said that, I do it mainly for family and friends. I don't do this as a professional, although it's a passion and I could, but I figured that I'd share it with the world. I always get texts and, 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 and requests from family and friends saying, can you send me a picture of that or, or, or can you give me that recipe? I don't really do recipes. I enjoy the kitchen. I enjoy the process of distraction from work. So today, I'm gonna to share that a little bit with you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be cooking lobster. I have four lobster tails that are sitting here on ice. And I'm gonna basically show you how I like to eat them. So here we go. So to get started, I'm gonna take these lobsters out here that have been chilled. You wanna keep the, cup, the lobster um, at a fairly cool temperature. I've already cleaned them in a the sink. It's something that I like to do. And I have all of the spices that I personally like to use. Again, this is not a recipe that I found from anywhere else. This is more importantly what I like to do in my flavor. So I have some parsley, I have some thyme, I have some paprika, I have some Old Bay seasoning, but I mix my Old Bay seasoning a little bit with Creole seasoning because I like flavor. I have, of course, the infamous salt and pepper. And what I have here is basically a butter uh, concoction mixed with some melting butter, like finishing butter from the grocery store. And I put some garlic and a little bit of white wine on the inside. And then of course I have some lemon juice here that I of course want to use. So there is no specific to this, meaning I'm not going to tell you a teaspoon of this. I'm just going to say use a liberal amount of each based off your taste. So here we go. We're going to take this knife here and we're going to cut the lobsters down. Now you can split this from the back or you can split this from the front. It doesn't matter. This is more like renegade style. Just get into the lobster and split it up. Now sometimes, depending on the knife you use, the lobster can be a little challenging, but just give it a nice little tug and pull. And at the end result, what you basically want to have there's a lot of lobster pieces similar to this right here, right? And I enjoy it this way because you get to season them specifically um, to your taste and all of the spices and everything gets on there. So again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna take a little bit of salt first, put a little bit of salt directly on them. And while the salt is on them, I'm gonna take the lemon juice, put that lemon juice up there. Now we're gonna take some paprika. <laughs> about to say, when did parsley become red? And again, this is only about seasoning to your taste. Now this is not your grandma's kitchen now, because you know, if it's your grandma's kitchen, she don't like you to make a mess. I definitely make a mess. You can ask my wife when I get in the kitchen. But here we go. So we're gonna put a little bit of the spices here. And what we want is each piece of the lobster to have its own flavor. And that's what I like to do. For me, you can never get enough spice and flavor. Then you go to pepper, and you just put all of this in there. And while this might not be the traditional way you like it, you will see in the end that the flavor is unbelievable because the truth is, some of the flavor comes off in the pan. But I actually use that flavor and make a broth out of it, as you're gonna see, to give the lobster a much more kick. All right, so once you got the lobster seasoned exactly how you want it, you let it sit for a few minutes, you heat the pan up and let's get these things cooking. All right, now we over to the stove. We got the seasoned lobster here and we're gonna heat the pan up with a little bit of olive oil. 
for about three to four minutes until it gets nice and hot. And then we're just gonna take these bad boys and take them swimming. So I like to put them down initially and take the lobster and put them on the shelf side down. That way you can heat the lobster from the bottom up. Now, similar to a grill, I will take the lobster and flip them on the other side after a little while, but I want them to cook first from the bottom up. That way, we're not overcooking the lobster because if you like seafood, nobody likes a tough lobster. So after we let this lobster sit in here just a couple minutes, two or three minutes, the juices is rolling around. You're really starting to see the color change slightly. What I like to do is I like to take a little butter and I take that butter and I sprinkle that butter over top of that lobster just so it can saturate a little more because who doesn't like butter, right? Butter, baby. And then I do something which is I started to do recently is much like when you take a shrimp and you steam it. So I take this actual pan here and I find something that fits inside of the pan and I just drop this lid right over top of that lobster. And that forces the heat from the lobster to push back on the top side of that lobster so it's able to cook all the way through. All right, so now we got this sitting up here. The lobster's starting to look amazing. And now that it's looking amazing, this is where you take the lobster to a whole nother level. Now by my calculation, this is only several minutes, five minutes, seven minutes. We wanna take now and flip this lobster over. As you can see now, look how red it is. That's the color that we all want. Now, you can season this again, but I'm not gonna over season it. But what I will do is take a little bit of wine. And now that you have this broth right here, as you can see this broth circulating around, you pull a little bit of wine up in there because lobsters love a drink too. All right, now another thing I like to do is you can get this out your local grocery store. It's called finishing butter. It just has a little more seasoning and stuff in it than what I've used. I drop that right inside the broth so that that finishing butter can get all inside that lobster. Then I like to take a little bit of the leftover garlic butter that I have and I just softly put that on the top of that lobster. And whether this does anything really great to it, I don't know. But it looks like I know what I'm doing. And we'll put this lid back up here again. We'll leave it about two minutes. And I think we got a lobster, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is the moment we've been waiting for. We get this off here. Take that lid off. And we get the plate in. Now, some of you may want it to cool down, but for me, or for my guests, when they smell that aroma through the house, nobody's waiting. They will risk the burn, is what I like to call it. Now, fellas, let me mention something to you when you're cooking. Because there's a lot of guys that I meet in my travels. I'm an international business consultant. And like I said, cooking is my hobby and passion. But a lot of guys make the excuse that, oh, the lines are long, I don't know how to cook, all these things. First, let me tell you, if you was to purchase this uh, quantity of lobster at a restaurant, true, you're gonna pay a couple dollars, especially if you live in a big city, New York City, LA, Miami. I live in Miami and lobster is not cheap. But guess what? If you go to the market and you catch the lobster on sale like I did with this, less than $20 and you got enough lobster for her. And let's say you double the love 20 lobster for you. That's $40 with a side of vegetables or something. You in there. It's a win. So there's no excuse. Or husbands, cook for your wives, cook for your ladies. Fathers, cook for your daughters. My, my daughter that you'll see on some future episodes, she loves to cook. So now what we're going to do, now that we have this lobster plated, is we're going to take some of the finishing butter and we're going to put it over top of it. Use this spoon here. And we're going to take this right from the pan. Now this will all the seasoning and things are at and we spoon this right over top of that lobster. That's all that white wine, that garlic butter, that finishing dressing from the store. We put that there, then we take a little bit of parsley. We drop that parsley over top for a garnish because while I am not a world-renowned chef, I do like a pretty plate. And so will she. She will like a pretty plate. 
Now, if you are a spice enthusiast and you love a little spice, then take a little bit of paprika because it ain't used a whole lot in the beginning. Just take a pinch, drop it up high because it makes the plate look really nice. So, there you have it. That's your lobster. Now, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. I cook everything. You're gonna see a lot of different variations. Ladies, you can cook this for your uh, special guy in your life. Most importantly, guys, get back in the kitchen, develop this trait. You could definitely cook this for your lady. And if you are a woman watching and you like seafood, this is for you.